Hi, in this video I'm going to be doing a little side-by-side -side comparison between Windows 10 and the new Windows 11. So one thing I want to point out is Windows 11 is not officially out yet, so this is a test beta version that I was able to download then install on a VM. So I have a video of actually how to install Windows 11 on a VMware Workstation and also VirtualBox and also another video on how to download the ISO file that you need to install Windows 11. So if you do want to try it out, I recommend doing this on a virtual machine and not on your actual computer since it's not production ready yet. So I have them both running side by side here. So that, you know it's kind of a lower resolution for uh, filming purposes, so we're going to have to make do. So the first thing you notice is the uh, taskbar difference. You can see we're all used to this Windows 10 taskbar. Down here they've added some new features re recently with the weather and location and stuff like that. And on Windows 11, they have it more centered here with the main icons in the middle. And it has more of a cartoony look. And same with the uh, background too, but of course you could change the background. Okay, so uh, to begin, so we all know that the Windows 10 start menu, you know, click on that and that's your start menu with your apps and everything's alphabetical and so on. Whereas with Windows 7, or sorry, Windows 11, you click on that and it pops it up right in the middle and it has all your pinned apps here and you can kind of you know use the arrow to scroll or you could use your mouse wheel and scroll. Now it puts some stuff there by default. These are not necessarily installed so if you were to click on let's say Spotify you'll see that it's actually downloading and installing it so it's just like suggested apps. So now that it's installed we could start if we wanted to or pin it to the start menu. Then down here you have the recommended apps like the video editor and OneDrive. So it's kind of you know, kind of the same, yeah, kind of different. So it'll probably take a little getting used to. If you want to see all your apps at once, you can click on that and get the same alphabetical list as you do in Windows 10 over here. And then power button, you'll notice. So you, if you click on start, you're used to seeing the power button over here. But in Windows 11, I keep wanting to say Windows 7, it's right here, but it has the same options right there. So you could sleep, shut down, and restart just like you can with Windows 10. Okay, and then you also have you know, your search box like you do here. Task view. So if you have things open, you can, you know, you can see them kind of like the task view button over here. Same type of thing, but I don't have anything open here. New desktop, new desktop. And then this is different. This is a widget section where you don't have over here in Windows 10. So if you click on that, you can see like weather and news stories and that kind of thing. So you know it'll it'll do it based on your location and that kind of thing. So and you know assuming you have location turned on. And then you have your file explorer, and you'll notice in the file explorer that the main you know the icons for desktop and downloads and so on look different than they do in Windows 10, you know, a little more colorful, that type of thing. And of course you have the same, this PC option. You can see your drives, and you know, that kind of looks the same, click on that. And open up some files. Oh, Internet Explorer is still there, that's kind of interesting. You know, these kind of icons look the same, so it's pretty similar there. So that shouldn't be too hard to get used to. And now it looks like all the uh, options up here look the same too. You know, home, share, view. You know, they just kind of changed the icons a little bit, but not much. So that's pretty similar, so that's good. We don't want it to be too different. And then we have our notifications and stuff down here. So if we click on that, you know, the you know, location, Bluetooth, nightlight, airplane mode. And if we go here, same thing, just a little different color. Same choices right there. And if we click on our network, same thing. Speaker, same thing. 
then the up arrow here of course is going to vary on what you have running and installed so that's the same kind of access that you have there so that's pretty similar too and one thing I didn't like too is you, know, you figured it'd be gone by now but if we do a search for like a well the search is a little different too I suppose that kind of thing if you like a control panel control panel still there and it looks the same and even stuff like a device manager or searching for that that's still there too and that looks the same so it looks like there's still some you know older windows features in there and of course you have the play store or the, actually the play store the microsoft store and what else we got settings so if we go to the settings main settings app and that we could find uh, I believe right here so that looks the same too system Display, scale and layout. Multiple displays. You know, I was going through these earlier. There are some differences, but for the most part, they're very similar. Devices. Network and internet, you know, all the same features there too. So I'm not going to go through all of them here, just a few of them, just so you have an idea. Let's see what the accounts look like. That looks the same too. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, really similar to there too. You'll have to go around and really find all the differences. But that's, like I said before, that's good that they're uh, not changing things up too much. So it's probably just maybe, you know, a feature upgrade more than a whole brand new look. And, you know, if they do that, they're going to they're gonna risk alienating people, kind of like they did with Windows 8. But so far, so good. So who knows if this is going to be exactly what it looks like when it's done. But if so, then I think it might Then I think it might be pretty good. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to look at here. No, calendar looks the same. And we've got Microsoft Edge and... You know, there's probably there's probably some uh, you know different apps or something that come with it that's not on Windows 10, but you'll have to play play with it yourself and see if you could find anything different. But other than that, you know, it's not not a whole lot of difference between the two. You know, just a kind of a refreshed look and a few added features. And like I said, when the final version comes out, it might be a lot more different than this. But I recommend you know trying out VirtualBox, which is free, or you could also try out uh, VMware Workstation, which is what I use, which is I like a lot better than VirtualBox. It's a lot, it's, it's a lot faster, if that's the right word. Or you could also try the uh, VMware Player, which is free, and but you can only run one VM at a time. Where VMware Workstation, you have like a thirty or sixty day trial, then you got to pay two hundred bucks if you want to license it. So anyway, so I'll uh, put some links to the other videos in the description. You could check out how to download it and see how to install it and. Play with it yourself and see how you like it. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.